200 big wheel fellas. It's a Honda Fat Cat, one of the baddest mamma jammas ever made. A true thing of art right here. You got full suspension, electric start, semi-automatic so you don't have a clutch. You just kick up for all five years. This thing is an absolute brute. The plan with it, hit the lake, go and track test it, and then go hit the mountains. See if it can hold up to the Shred 80 standards. Let's get into this bad thing. What do you think about it, Mars? She's pretty. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> it's almost short enough you can sit on it too. <laughs> Something about it is anybody can pretty much ride it, being that it's electric start, full suspension, and no clutch. I think you like it because it's called fat. Uh, there's no heavy sitting on it right now though. <laughs> and it might even have to teach Marissa how to ride it. Uh huh. And then we're gonna hit the mountains, fellas. I think this is gonna be mine. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, right. This is like my new favorite thing, fellas. It's pretty much like a 250SX in dirt bike formation. Before we go surprise Ty and go see if we can handle the lake test, we gotta show Marissa how to ride something with two wheels. <laughs> Holy crud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the cool thing about it, they bypass the neutral switch so you can just start it in gear. Marissa, Marissa, hey, baby. I think I like three better. I think you should like three better. I don't like those dirt bike guys. They remind me of Evan too much. <laughs> okay. okay. Am I going? Nice and easy on the throttle. Yep, no clutch. Atta girl. Nice and easy, baby. Perfect. Look at you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at you. On the back end. That's perfect. All right. Let's go. Man, I love Honda, baby. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> All righty, fellas. Let's load it up and go hit the lake. You good, babe? <laughs> I hear it. motor with electric start so that's the biggest difference and then one of the other differences is you have no clutch so it's a semi-automatic all gears shifting up so we got to figure out what these fat tire dirt bikes are all about uncle preston he labels it as one of the most dangerous hondas ever made just because you've got a lot of power you got these big old fat three-wheeler tires but you're missing a freaking wheel ty you're missing a freaking wheel dude That was not good to do right off the bat. Oh yeah, that thing is moving. It's definitely like a billy goat mixed with a cheetah at the same time. I mean, when you want to open her up and let the wings soar in the field, she'll let them soar. But if you want to billy goat over some rocks, you can billy goat. I think we got to take it back to the compound and uh, see how it does on the track. Go hit the track, man. She has the get up for it. She has the get up for it. Do I have the balls is the next question. We'll see you guys at the track. You gotta love it, man. The mountains are blue, baby. Our machine is blue. And we're gonna be on the track and hopefully my body doesn't turn blue after hitting this shit. But uh, it's gonna be a blast. The full suspension's checking out great. Dude, I think that this thing can eat some jumps. This, it's got some nice suspension. It's got some nice speed. I'm ready to see what you can do with it. Be able to clear that one and then eventually clear this one. We also got a gnarly step up over. Oh, you cleared that with ease. Like way too easy. Like so nicely. All right. Ooh, the gap jump's gonna be maybe the end of the day. We'll yep. see. 
I'm so scared for that, but I want that gap jump probably. That'd be so fire. All right, let's try and get comfortable. We're gonna warm up on this jump, hit this one a couple times. Probably get in some trouble after that. Pretty much the biggest two wheel jump I've ever done to be completely honest. Dude, I mean, dude, you were hucking backflips two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Here we go. Classic Gavin Wheelie, huh? Yep. It's spooky though. It's coming in on two wheels, man, and it's fat tires. I mean, you don't know what it's gonna do. The electric start works. How good of a bike, Ty? That's pretty sweet. Does it get much better than a Honda back up? Much better. There we go. We gotta click it in the fourth. Oh, you cleared it with these, Gav. Did I really? Fourth gear loved it. Oh, absolutely loved it, Gav. Why did that have to happen, dude? Like, every day. Oh, part of me think, wishes things didn't go so smooth sometimes, you know? Because now we got to take her to Gaffleby's over there. Damn it, Ty. Damn it, Ty. Damn it. Let's go, let's go break it down. <laughs> so, I mean, I've jumped it enough times now that I know that fourth gear. I've never jumped it on something with two wheels, but I know that fourth gear pin is making it. Clears it every time. That's what sucks, dude. We're gonna hit this again, see how we're feeling after that. It might be time to hit the mountains. Oh my gosh, dude, I want that jump right here though, bro. It's a I got it. Oh, I know you got it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. The final stages of the big wheel track testing. We got the gap jump. This is a big jump. bike ever i thought we were honestly starting off with maybe one of the deadlier dirt bikes ever from what i had read everyone was saying they're so hard to control i don't know man i don't know i'm i'm pretty much right at home right now <laughs> fellas i am one happy freaking guy right now we just jumped the hell out of this thing it held up great it even cased it a couple times over there suspension still ate it amazingly now for the final test let's hit the mountains Colorado mountain high country. It is absolutely gorgeous up here right now. It's my favorite time of year to go riding. Late August, early September. You can't beat it. And what better time than to see what this fat cat is all about. We gotta go find out if it can crawl over some big rocks, hit some true Rocky Mountain trails, and just have a time with it. Let's go see you guys on the trail. pretty up here fellas let's uh let's get on the cruise we got my favorite part of getting up here ty we got some abandoned gold mines way back in here and uh some gnarly riding let's let's start heading up Here comes the big boy stuff, fellas. We're getting real deal right here. We have to start climbing. Look at that, Ty. What do you think about it? I think she's got it. You know, this is the first real test. Like I was saying, we're gonna get into some decent rock crawling. Definitely testing the suspension from 1986. Let's get into it and see how it does. Let's go. We're now going to straight rocks, Ty.
like, well, man, he can't be the fat cat. I'm falling in love with it. I got the torque of a three-wheeler, but the dirt bike feel like you fit in all these different credits. And we're exploring the high country. You just can't beat it. All right, let's open her up, Ty. Let's go. TR200 really is the best of both worlds. You got the dirt bike formation with the torque and the power of a three-wheeler leading you to one of the most beautiful places in the world. Freaking can't beat the Rocky Mountains. If you ever get a chance to buy one of these fat cats, I promise you won't regret it. Let's keep partying, baby. Alrighty, we got an abandoned racetrack. I love the crap out of my three-wheeler stalls. I got my 250R board out to 350, running on 110. Thing is running hot. So I think we gotta go take over this racetrack. Our crazy Miata friend is meeting us there. We got a bunch of toys hitting it. Let's see you guys there. Here we are, fellas, arriving at Vandermeer Speedway. This is pretty much one of the staples of Colorado racing right here. Look at it, fellas. It's about to be turned into basically a big old parking lot. So this is our last chance to uh, get out here, race some hell, and just have some fun. Check it out, fellas. We are gonna take over this whole freaking place with three wheels. It is now go time time. We have this whole racetrack to ourselves. Nobody can tell us what to do. Let's go get after it. And there we go, fellas. We got our trailer full of three wheelers. Of course, we have our 250R. We bought our good buddy Brian's electric razor out. Check this out. We got wires everywhere. Dude, is it gonna catch on fire? It might. <laughs> Look at this, Gav. This is it, fellas. The amount of badass racing that has taken place here is so cool. Like I said, this is pretty much a staple of Colorado racing right here. <laughs> We got the Rad Factory Supercharged Miata all done up. This thing is pretty much the baddest Bama Jam out there Miata wise. Long travel suspension, she's supercharged. We've jumped some booters on this thing. Dylan, are you ready to put it down the racetrack? <laughs> I'm genuinely excited to put it up against the 250R and see what's faster. I have no idea, honestly. Like, this has never been done race. I'm gonna smoke you, son. And the track, Dylan, you ready, man? I'm pretty nervous Gosh, to be honest. Man, dude, uh, how do we find ourselves in these situations all the time, you know? But uh, he's like, what should we race first? I said, it's only right if we start off with the bad mamma jamma, so 250R versus crotch rocket, let's go. He, uh, he has the easy one on this one. I am freaking terrified. Like, dude, it looks that thing pulls. Was it pulling? That thing pulls. This, this, thing's this thing pulls. <laughs> who, who, who did he say? Who did he say? Uh, Gav, buy a bike. Oh, buy a bike. It's closer than we thought it was gonna be. Yeah. All right, we got race number two. They're running it back.
<laughs> that was a fun race though. I mean, we had some photo finishes. We so did, definitely, we it. definitely did. So that now cool. we got the Miata that's supercharged. We got an electric Razor. But uh, let's keep enjoying it, baby. All right, next up, we got to see what's up with the electric Razor, Ty. Yeah, I'm excited. It has an old Tesla battery in it. And uh, it actually boogies considering how light it is. It has really good center of gravity, but I should have it on the start. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. <laughs> that thing is just too fast. That thing is fast, man. That, fast. that thing is really fast. Oh no. It's really fast. That's a bad running girl. Or does it run? Or does it walk? Or does it? What does it do, Ty? Uh, dude, it's the just whistle. on. It, whistles. it does whistle. whistle. <laughs> it, whistles. It, whistles. it whistles. It whistles and it creeps. <laughs> it whistles and it creeps. Yeah. Fellas, it is uh, getting real out here right now. The racing stepping it up a little bit. Now we're getting out the supercharged Miata. The fans are going wild. The fans are going wild. <laughs> so what's racing? 250R Miata or this? 250R against Miata. All right, let's do it. You beat them both times, you don't need to. I know, right? You I you look. won, dude. Oh, you're How's winning. Dude, you go? everything, you killed it. Good job. Sounded cool too? Yeah. Let's go. Good win. I would I would have kept up with you, but I I didn't. <laughs> Good ripping, Gav. <laughs> Let's go, man. We got the coolant leaking. It's time for a top end job, probably. Good thing winter's around the corner. She's probably gonna be put up for a little bit. Holy shit, dude. Let's go. Good. Vandermeer, on to the next thing, baby. Check out that site, though. There she is. What a freaking privilege. Give me some. Let's keep having fun. <laughs> 